Fred Kelly here, your nerd sidekick, making you the technology hero. And today I'm with nerd sidekick's mom. This is my mom, Gwen Kelly. Mom, thank you for agreeing to be on camera here. I mean, you're a nerd. <laughs> to, no, you're you're not the nerd. I'm the nerd. I'm already a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so today, what I'm trying to do is to uh, find out some things from my mom that will help you or help you help someone else. So let's go into a little history here. When I was a little boy, my father died and when I was 11. And one of the things that you did for me and my brother, Robert, is you gave us the opportunity to either have flying lessons or get a computer. Do you remember this? Yeah. Okay. And so I chose a computer. My brother chose flying lessons. And so I've had a computer ever since. I think it was 1981. I got an mm -hmm. Apple II Plus. You recall that? Helping yeah. me get that? Okay. Uh -huh. And so thank you for that. That's just guided me on my path of where I uh, have been spending a lot of my time on technology. It's been a great help to me to have a computer that early. But one of the things that about you and your generation, did you, would you tell people how old you are? Is that okay? I'm 85. 85. So you are a great looking 85 year old, but you didn't grow up with technology. No. In fact, you and some of your homes when you were a girl, you didn't even have full indoor plumbing, right? You want <laughs> True. to talk about that? True. <laughs> did you have, what did you not have? Oh, we didn't have running water either. Okay, it's, you didn't have sinks? We had to go out to the well to get water. Okay. When I was real young. Right, and you had an outhouse, I assume. True. Okay, so for you kids out there who uh, think you had it rough today, forget it. Uh, you have no idea. But anyway, <laughs> so kids today, they have technology from the time they wake up until the time they go to bed. They're totally comfortable with technology, but your generation... And even my generation uh, is not completely comfortable with technology. Right. So what I want to do is find out what kinds of things you need help with, even though you've had a computer for how long? Oh, well, since I, I worked on computers when I was a teacher. And which was how many years ago? Oh, 20 years ago. Okay. But you've had a personal computer maybe that long in your own home. Not, not quite that long? Not quite. Maybe 15 years? Yeah. I guess I've... Did I build all those computers for you? I believe you, you did. Okay. So, but there have been things that have been a challenge for you. Oh, and, yeah. And they continue to be a challenge <laughs> yeah. for you, right? Absolutely. And in fact, in fact, one of the things, I was providing tech support for her on many occasions, and we got to the point where it became very frustrating for me, I have to admit, and I just decided I'd, I needed to bow out of that and let someone else <laughs> do it. And maybe you've been in that position where trying to support your family, maybe your father, your mother, someone else in your family, that can be, sometimes can be a little difficult. And so what I want to do is make a series of videos that can address specific things that people have trouble with. And you can share a video with someone to show them how to do something they are struggling with. So what I hear, am here today is to find out from you some of the things you need help with, the things that have repeatedly come up. So, What I know about computers could be put in a thimble. Okay. So you can start anywhere. Anywhere. Well, so tell me a couple of things. Maybe give me a list of four or five things that have been your toughest. Oh, how to put pictures in an email. So how, how to put pictures from your computer in an email. So get it off because of your I camera. Have, I don't have an iPhone right. like everybody else does. Right. You do have a phone. I have a phone and I do have some pictures on it, but I, it's not easy like some people. So you're trying to figure out just navigating pictures, period, whether it's on your computer, how, how to get it off the camera, because you do have a digital camera. Right. So how to get it off the camera onto your computer. Yeah, that's pretty automatic. So you know how to do that. Uh-huh. But you might, you've had needs of help for help with that in the past. Yeah. So that might be a good thing to cover. Yeah. And then you want to email pictures. Yes. You don't know how to do that. Right. You've had struggles with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're using Gmail? 
Yes. And you've used AOL. Yes. Uh, like some old, us old uh, pioneers in the internet world. A lot of us cut our teeth on AOL. Even you started with AOL. Right. You have upgraded to Gmail. So do you need help with Gmail? Oh, yes. I, I get so many commercial messages <laughs> that I don't know what to do with. Okay. So you need some help maybe learning how to separate those so that the, the commercial stuff gets separated from the personal stuff. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Can you do that? I can show you how to do that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Okay, I need to know how to open a file that I have put on my computer and maybe I forgot the name of it. Okay, so you need to understand files, how to find files, mm -hmm. maybe how to move files around on the computer, yeah. um, finding things you've lost. Yeah. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the pictures, moving pictures around, um, but we'll get into things besides pictures, just dealing with files specifically. Right. Good. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. What else? What else? So, so I know passwords are an issue, and I, I installed a program on your computer that would help remember your passwords, but right. I think you're having, you've had problems using that. The problem I have is every time you go to that website, I mean, when you, it pops up, you have to put the web, you have to put the password in again to get to the password <laughs> storage. It's your master password. Yeah. Okay. I thought I would just automatically click on it, but no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we need to talk about passwords, perhaps, how to manage passwords, mm -hmm. um, not forgetting passwords, and uh, logging in to secure sites, and how to maybe how to retrieve passwords if you lost them that are reset passwords, that sort of thing. And you're always telling me, Mom, be careful what you click on, and so I'm scared to death to click on anything. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you tell what's safe from what's not? Yeah, a good okay. question. Okay, virus protection, these types of things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what else do you need help with? Well, just a basic thing like Meredith gave me this precious little uh, memo on how to copy and paste okay and i have it in writing so i can refer to it but i don't use it that often i think i would like to have a video that told it to me okay so just the simple thing what i consider what probably a lot of people today consider cutting and pasting because it's so basic to running a graphical user interface like windows or if you're running a mac cutting and pasting is something that we do every day but you have problems with that. You struggle with that. Yeah. So, all right. So I need to show you how to cut and paste. Right. Okay. What else can I help you do? Well, just whenever the problem comes up, then I know what I need help for, but I don't, <laughs> okay. I don't have a list. <laughs> so it's just a, a, one of those things where perhaps if you had a guide that said, hey, here's how to handle your own problems. Here's how to deal with general problems that come up what's the what's the overall approach to how to handle anything in a, a sort of a, a step one two three of things that you can try to do to understand how to diagnose your own problem before you have to go looking for someone's help would that help you yes definitely okay all right what about uh do you have any problems with word processors or do you ever do spreadsheets? I don't do spreadsheets much, but I do occasionally. But I like, I, I, I have word processing, but I have two different kinds and I don't know which one I really like better because I've never learned them very well. Okay, so that's a, that's a, a choice that you have to make. So is that something that you could streamline or something that if you had a simple yeah, solution. Yeah, it was that, automatic that it would go to a certain page every time I turned it on. My preferred method. Okay. So. So we'll have to talk, we'll talk about that offline to see if I can pinpoint where the problems are. Okay. But so there you go. We'll, maybe we'll talk about some applications, <laughs> simple things like word processing, spreadsheets, 
Google has a number of uh, programs that you can use for that that are free, they're online. They're online? So they work if you're on your phone or if you're on a tablet or if you're on a computer, the data gets shared and we can cover some of that maybe. Maybe that would help you at some point. Wow. Uh, what else? Any other? Can you think of any other major things? It's just when the problem comes up, that's when I call you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like I helped you the other day getting your Garmin uh, GPS updated. Oh yeah. So stuff like that. I could not have done that without you. Right. Well, so technology is still too hard to use. I get that. And that, I don't know if that's ever going to change. Maybe one day we'll have something that fixes everything. But until then, mom and dad technology tutorials are made for technology newbies. Don't get mad and blow up. This MAD TNT series covers basic technology and computer topics with careful demonstrations so anyone can master it. Let me, Nerd Sidekick, help you or your mom, dad, or anyone struggling with basic technology. Just send them this video and I'll take it from there. I'm gonna to endeavor to make a series of videos that will help you help someone else by saying, okay, here we go, mom, here's how you cut and paste, or here's how you get your camera and get your photos off your camera and then how you send an email or post those on Facebook or wherever. So hopefully this will help. Hope, hope it'll help you and hope it'll help you. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next video.